V B N the Lich Video Blog Network Home to Weekly NFL Predictions Great Personality Profiles About Sports Stars, Professional Wrestlers and Actors, Actresses, TV Personalities Sports Video Blogs about the NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, NFL and College Sports Professional Wrestling Video Blogs About Angle, Storylines, Tag Teams And pay-per-views, and entertainment video blogs about television shows, movie reviews, TV networks, cable networks, and radio stations, RVB and Billica, Massachusetts, the only video blog that matters on the internet. Check out my great work on Facebook and YouTube archives going back to June of 2014. Good, e good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Monday, December 5th, 2016, around 5.29 in the evening, in the afternoon. Got some snow this morning in most of New England, anywhere from a coating to as much as two inches in the higher terrain, but it ended and the sun peaked out. Hopefully got that snow shovel because it's going to most likely turn to ice tomorrow tonight. But tomorrow's supposed to be in the 40s, so it will melt it away. But recommended to shovel your porches and driveways. Don't want to get icy. First of chances of snow this week. Some news to report on the RVB news. Why do 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 the LA Dodgers has signed pitcher Rich Hill to a three year year contract? terms of the deals not disclosed. The Chicago Bulls suspended guard Rondo Raja to, for one game for con conduct detrimental to the team. He was arguing with a teammate. Same old what Rondo again. He might never grow up. Magic Johnson is returning to be an analyst on NBA Count on, on ESPN and ABC and sad news to report in the world of our Hollywood actor Van Williams, famous for playing the Green Hornet in the television series, passed away at the age of 82. So prayers to his family in this time of need. And that's about it on the news. Be back in a flash with my second video blog of the day. I'm back. My second video blog subject of the day is about my take on the college football playoff if it should expand to eight teams. The college football playoff was established in 2014 after the bowl championship series contract ended with ESPN and they signed a 12-year contract to have a national play football playoff with four teams and it rotates every three years with bowl games, the Rose Bowl, the Orange Bowl, the Sugar Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, and the Fiesta Bowl. And the top four teams um, play in the semifinals, then a national championship game the week after. And this is the third year that's in it. That that's that's ESPN's in this contract. It's supposed to end in twenty twenty five. And since the National Football Playoff started, it's been a little bit controversial. It it's like the Power Five conferences, the SEC, the ACC, Pac-12, Big Ten, and, and Big 12 usually has, you know, high priority in the national football playoffs, college football playoffs. Usually the conference champions kind of get the automatic berth in these balls. But sometimes it's not the case. Like this year, 
Ohio State is the number two seed. They didn't win the Big Ten Conference Championship. And um, Penn State did, but they did not finish anywhere in the top four. And a lot of people say they should expand it to have the top eight teams in the uh, in the National College Football Playoffs have like the the like the conference champions of the Power Five conferences and have like three at large beds. But the problem with that is they would have to play like have four extra bowl games to do that. And there's talk that somebody says to like have the next f like four like imp most important bowls after the big six ones that they rotate in it to add these games and that is a possibility but it could be it could it, it could be a good possibility because it could knock out a many six and six teams for qualifying for bowl games and also there's a, a proponent for it that they could have you know more of the big time schools that deserve in the national college football playoff to participate but the downside is you don't want to be playing extra games for these kids because it would take time for them for school also another like um like against it is that there's always going to be teams left out which always happens my take on this is you will probably not see the college football playoff expand to eight teams into the contract with EXPN expires in 2025 and that's what I think is going to ha happen when that contract expires, then you'll see the playoff format expand to eight teams, and that's going to be it. I don't see it ever going to 16, unless if they, you know, abolish all the bowl game, or abolish all the bowl games. That's the only way you'll see it. And that's about it on that. I'll be back with the third and final video blog of the night, which will be about Predictions for 2017 in sports media. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunn guy. Molly Rose Plant, the WCCO accent has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 in New York. Such a rocking cool girl. Scott, the best leg in New York City by none. Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Len Claire of WHDH Channel 7 is so sweet. And she says the best legs in Boston. And then he's going to see the rabbit today. The rabbit's going to run away. And want to put a rage on that, Richie. Goodbye for now.